Hey everybody, Dan the Wolfman here. Today might be a short video I'm going to do on a new series I'll call Forgotten Pistols. You know, because that other guy has the uh, channel with just a few subscribers, Forgotten Weapons. But let's do Forgotten Pistols, because one of the things that everyone has forgotten about is, well, subcompact pistols. How did you back? I don't want any trouble. Back off! No, I won't let you eat my brains, you zombie fuck! Gangsta! Oh. You know something? Between compact and before micro 9 millimeters were uh, basically invented, uh, this came out just before the P365. In fact, I had an unboxing video before YouTube, you know, did the bad things to all of us acting as a publisher before I was hidden in the shadow realms. I got 8,500 uh, views on unboxing, and comparing this to a P365 that was a rental at the range uh, when they first got it in, comparing the PPQ SC for subcompact, got 18 and a half thousand views. And that, so that's kind of how my things went before a couple years ago, before, you know, the summer of peace and rioting happened, and then things all got uh, blacklisted and whatnot, acting as a publisher illegally. So uh, anyway, here is the PPQ subcompact. Uh, I have not shot this pistol probably in a very, very long time. That was four years ago. Walter even uh, did the, my unboxing of this uh, in their playlist. Now, I think it's only like 21.2 ounces, if memory serves me right, which it might not. It's, some, it's really light. And so that and because of the long uh, dwell time or long lockup time for better accuracy in Walther's compared to other pistols and higher velocity due to the very good, well-made polygonal barrels. Uh, people may think this is snappy. I may think this is snappy, especially because I usually shoot pretty warm to hot 124 grade, not put American 115. So this is the short magazine. And you can see I get like two and three quarters I prefer not to shoot it that way because the pinky kind of flies off sometimes, if I remember right. But, so that's a problem that that was a 10-round magazine. And this longer extension magazine, just for getting a longer grip on it, does give you the full grip. Now, this is totally forgotten about because in today's world now, they act like it's a brand new thing. The PDPF for female, which is kind of sexist, should have been PDPS for small hands because a lot of guys sure like that one. Maybe someday I could borrow one and do a comparison. I've never shot that one. I would like to. I just did my PDP versus PPQ, Red Dot versus Iron Sights Part 3. So make sure to check that out. And I thought we should get this little guy back out where I should go, hmm, because in today's world, it's like, if I want to go smaller than an Air X Delta, but longer barrel for better ballistics than a Shield Plus. So maybe this still fits in that world, especially if you're carrying outside waistband where you don't need the thinness, the thinness of a Micro 9. So let's see how the old girl does. All right, I'm going to start with three rounds, Federal 124 grain, seven yards with the short mag, with the short mag. Just to get a feel for it, it's been a very long time. <laughs> Left. <laughs> also left. <laughs> and in the box, but barely. And uh, when I had these night sights put on, I don't think their alignment was very good. The front was a little turned off, and the rears might actually be off a bit. So they're centered okay-ish, but they are definitely an inch left. Let me switch mags to the long mag and see if I can do any better with that, which can possibly affect, you know, trigger reach, grip, all that kind of stuff. It feels better. It feels better. Most felt more sure, but everything is still a bit left. So when those sights are put on, hmm, not sure. 
This is from Targets Online. Hopefully they send me a new package soon. They've been a good sponsor to the channel. Uh, I love their hard card stack targets. And so here's the first couple, and then I think that one, and then I think that was my first with the big mag, and then here. So I'm really yeah, I'm aiming it over here, and they seem to be going. So some of that's on me trigger control. But again, I'm not sure about the sights, and now that my eyes have fully changed to left eye dominant, things have changed maybe since four years ago. Hey guys, let me talk specs a little bit. For a 9mm pistol, what I would like to see in the, both the subcompacts, you know, old school, what we're talking about today, and the micro compacts, I want a 9mm that has 12 flush in the base, not 10 really. This has 10, I'm about to shoot it that way. But I like 12 and 15. Give me a 12 as the standard and the 15 coming mag with it too, uh, people. Also, I like the Shield Plus. I shoot it really, really well. But a 3.1 inch barrel, boy, you got to be real particular with what hollow points you put in that. Basically, it's got to be an HST 124 grain, 124 plus P. I much prefer 3.4, 3.5, 3.6 inch barrels to get full hollow point expansion going through heavy clothing and all the organs that are different elasticities and strengths and densities and all that. Uh, really, so this is 3.5 inch with a polygonal barrel, which shoots faster. Wall their barrels shoot faster than Glock barrels, etc. and so forth. So I'm gonna, and do this does have a benefit over something even thinner, uh, like the Shield Plus. Maybe it's more shootable, especially with the full mag. Now the small mag, this I would carry, like if I had to go to a family function or a wedding and be really discreet and not print. This or this might fit in there. Or a shield plus so the subcompact with different mags is gives you a good ability to change and that's something i like going back to the smith and wesson 9c with which i no longer own but i like a 12 round or a 15 or a 17 with an extender type of option all right five yards let's just do three in her chest and check out the recoil impulse Not bad. Oh, breaking the line. All three E-Box, two are on top of each other. I think the second one dipped a bit low. And this is Federal 124 grain. I think it was one, two, three, actually. Um, but that is that is not bad. That is not bad. That's definitely shootable. And uh, let's keep going. All right, I'm going to do the same thing. Triple tap on her, uh, but give you a view of the recoil from this side with the full-length mag, which definitely does help me. I have pretty big XL hands. Not the longest fingers, but pretty big. Um, and give you this view. Why am I shooting a female target? Because sometimes there are deadly threats as well, but mostly I'm running out of targets, guys. I just talked to my target spots or targets online. They're going to send me a, a new package. That's why I'm down to the last few videos to zombies and some females, uh, etc. Just so you know, I'm not a hater. I love pretty and pink. Okay. Here we go. Took me a little long time to uh, align the front sight, right? And carefully reholster. The trigger guard's catching a bit, but pretty good. Hits all the same on her. So just about the same 2A plus 1A. Uh, so not quite as tight as a grouping, uh, but I'm not sure about the cadence. So it has a little snap, but it's it's, you know... It might even be better than a micro, and I think it's going to be very individual to get in those very small differences there. And it is a light pistol, and it was lined up a lot, so it's easy to carry. Number one rule of a gunfight is have a gun on you. Three attackers or one or two, and they move because people move during gunfights. When you, they see a gun, they hear a gun go off, okay? So I'm going to do two, two, and two with the full-size mag first at five yards. Hey guys, what's going on? Why don't we chill? Why don't we chill? Pick off! Well, I died. That was just every which way but bad. <laughs> Horrible draw. And uh, we'll keep it though. I got one bad hit. I mean, it's an E-zone hit, but it's a bad hit to me. So I want everything in the A-plus box. A-plus... And A, bottom of the lung. Not a great shot, but, you know, it's still upper thoracic. Uh, a, a plus A, but right next to each other. So I don't think it's that flippy if that's my split, if that's my pair. 
if that's my double tap. Right? It was basically double tap, double tap, double tap. I think the pacing was. And uh, this zombie over here are both A plus as well. So five A plus and a six, just a, a box. So, I mean, not bad. So that's definitely shootable five yards. All right, gonna run it again with the short mag. Oh, can I help you guys? Oh, any trouble. Hey, back off, please. Oh, any trouble. Back off! I think the first drill I stayed static. That one I was healing back, getting distance, which is what you should do. Uh, but about the same. About the same. So on her, A plus A. Him, just two A's. So not as good on him. So healing back, I dropped my dip, dip my shots a little bit when breaking the trigger, dipping the barrel bit. And uh, it's breaking the line, so both A plus on him is the same on this zombie over there. All right, guys, I'll start alternating now between the Tagua leather holster, this IW4 holster I got a review on. Uh, I just had it in here with the full mag loaded 15 plus one. It's really dang comfortable. So the PPQ subcompact, boy, I don't even know how many were made. Like, they can't, you, there wasn't many out there in the first place. Uh, but it seems like a good carry. It's doing good. Uh, splits, uh, good double taps, and everything. It seems like it would be very comfortable to carry. My big belly's getting in the way now. I got it in a Tolster holster uh, made for a bigger one. Um, so, but use code Dan the Wolfman, get 15% off at Tolster holster, targets online, 10% off your first order, access night sites, and all that. All right. So, I'm walking with my girl. Na -na 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 -na. I'm walking with my girl. Na -na 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 -na. Back up! Did I kill the zombies coming to attack me and my girl? I think I did. And that's something you need to be practicing. I'm telling you people, practice three and five yards, one-handed headshots. Practice drawing one-handed because you're holding your girl, your daughter, your groceries, or your bag, or whatever. T-box. Boom. She down. Zombie eyeball. Boom. He's down. And zombie T-box. Really good headshots on these guys. Going to do that draw again, backing it up to five yards from outside the waistband. How did you get back? How did dip that last one? Let's see. Good, good, and good. Down Chica leader with her zombie recruits. I mean, it's a little getting to the side for me, but that's still good. That's still going to go through instead of zipping around the skull. And the difference is really only a little bit, possibly. And down zombie there. Doing pretty good with these headshots. Hey, what's up, HBIC and your zombie horde? Oh, I don't want any trouble with you guys. I don't want any trouble. Wake up! Shirt was in there. Carefully reholster always. My undershirt was in there a bit. Let's see the hits. So bad cheek, I got a tiger palm strike. Boom, fingers in the eyes. John Jones style. Tiger palm, power step out, off the X. Learn some, all right? Then she got Mozambique. Zombie got Mozambique. It's a good effect. You see it, one, two, and Three. All right, I want to give you guys another angle so you can see that. I have a separate video on that in my Learn Gun Fighting, Learn Gun Foo series that you should check out that got totally shadow hidden. Okay. Oh, hey, what's going on? I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble with you, man. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. Drop it! I didn't know I was gonna run dry. Hopefully my reload didn't suck balls. 
to a plus on Bad Chica and a so-so headshot. I don't love it. I want it up there. Don't love it, but she's probably down. To a plus on him, and I love that T-Box, so this is about as perfect as it gets. PBQ sub compact handling itself really well. Maybe it's that I'm a much better shooter with better recoil control now. Have you seen what's going on in major cities? Not just the typical crime and murders, but people literally tranked out on trank to zombies. Have you seen it? Because your ass better be prepared. No, I won't let you eat my brains, you zombie fuck! Do I need to shoot down into the hip girdle where it can just zip through and not really do the damage that people tell you it does? No, I mean... Talk to the doctors to a plus zone and in the eyeball. This zombie is toast. A plus, A plus. They don't need to go down there. If you have to, okay, maybe and hitting the girdle and then it can ricochet up and all that. But there's no guarantee. There's no guarantee. It can just go through and not do any of that. Here, definitely does though. So there's no reason why I can't shoot up here from high pectoral index, contrary to some of the asshole trainers out there. And up there. Very nice. And hopefully that gives you another reason why I like the targets from Targets Online. These are hard, thick cardstock. Okay? A regular paper would have blown apart at that CQB distance. So especially for law enforcement, special teams, etc. You're going to want to use these. Also, they don't just fall apart in the rain. It was raining a couple hours ago really bad, then the sun came out, it's swamp-ass temperature now, uh, and yet it stays together even at that CQB distance. If you go to their website, you can see me blowing apart with the 12-gauge at up close, and it only rips a bit versus completely just tearing, blowing apart, and falling off the hangers. What happens if you walk to your store, you're about to get in your car, and it's an ambush, it's a hit? Gangsta! Cut off the exo, didn't I? It's only three yards, but while moving, one handed, sideways, two in the A zone. Two in the A zone. I don't think I've done that in a year. Let's try it at five yards. Didn't feel as good. Let's see. Five yards while moving. Started stepping off the axe to get out of there. Two A zone. A plus zone, B zone. One, two A plus, and very close, another A. So, wow, what's going on? I think it's kind of effective. All right, let's see what happens about five yards. Someone. Ah! Let's see how those were. 2A on this guy, 1A plus. 2A. 2A on her, 1A plus. 2A on him, 1A plus. So. That seemed effective too. Stutter stepping, shooting from the modified car position with that elbow in to give bonal structure as you stagger step off. All right, boys and girls. Well, it's been great. Five yards and in, and typically stuff happens two to five yards in a civilian context. That's why I did all the cool stuff I did and sees I'm driving with it even better than I used to. This might be a great option. All right, 25 yards. Pretty in pink. Let's see. Very wide front, tight sight. Okay, it's so wide. These are actually Meprolite. I usually use access night sights, but this was back in the day and what I can find to fit this. I believe these are True Glow Tritium Pro, actually. True Glow Tritium Pro. Um, 
very wide. Kind of hard at 25. We'll see how I did. So as you can tell there, I didn't feel very confident like I have with some other pistols as recently. And that's because of the night sight more than anything. And I always thought maybe like uh, we started with, maybe it was a little off and to the left a little bit. And that's going to be exacerbated longer. Uh, three good hits. I would call those three good upper thoracic hits. Two in the arm, though, those could have lawyers attached. Um, so, but five out of five at 25 yards, technically. So that's okay. And, uh, I gelled with it really, really, really well. So what do I think? I'm the only one here at the enclosed range all today of the PPQ subcompact. I shot it better today than I thought it would. Uh, I had no problem with recoil. It was Federal 124, not the hottest, but decent, right? Um, Federal 124, I would carry this with like a plus P124. Um, and everything was pretty good. If you look at the targets, all the hits are really good. There was only one bad hit before those last ones. Uh, so those last two at 25 yards. But the only bad hit was one-handed with a stutter step. Everything else was A-zones. Even stutter step, even stutter step, even while moving, diagonally. And if you look, those are good all upper thoracic hits. Good headshots on the zombie there. Good upper thoracic hits on her here. I mean, so that, that, and that are really the only bad ones. Two of them at 25 and one of them one-handed while moving. On um, the other one was an A-zone, uh, inner A-zone, A+. Plus. And on this zombie, all good upper thrust hits, all good headshots. So the PBQ subcompact did a very good job. In fact, so good, I should probably consider uh, this about carry. Plus, it's really light. I think even 15 plus 109 millimeter, that is going to be a lot lighter than the subcompact 40 I've been carrying lately. And I shot it really well. So it's something to consider. Where does it fall into things? I want just to talk about subcompacts. Everyone's forgetting about them going to micros. But if you're not a very good shooter with very good recoil control, maybe you can't shoot a micro very well. For high-level people, some of the micros, like the Shield Plus, are very shootable, right? And there's new ones coming out. Uh, HR Funk it just did one on the, um, the Masada Slim. And that's got a longer barrel, 3.44, I think. So that's maybe better. Uh, I mean, the Shield Plus, I was just worried about that 3.1-inch barrel. This with a 3.5-inch polygonal barrel i don't worry about full hollow point expansion with the bestest hollow points so that is something so where does it fall in a place if i was going to carry appendix i would want the thinness of the shield plus or micro okay at three o'clock it makes no difference this is very comfortable so it's kind of like shield plus or eric's delta if i'm carrying appendix but now i'm carrying three o'clock again primarily almost all the time i've been carrying three o'clock the last few months again um the 1.3 inch instead of one inch wide. In fact, that probably dispersed recoil better across the palm. And especially for ladies with smaller hands, they might feel that one inch thickness. Like it feels good in their hand and then the recoil, especially when if it was like with carry hollow points, is gonna be a lot. So the dispersion of the four pounds per square inch is probably better with the wider grip and it feels more comfortable. And if it's a little bit heavier, this is really light, but if it's a little bit heavier, uh, subcompacts should be looked at and maybe other subcompacts like the 2.0 SC, uh, Smith & Wesson or whatever they call it, right? Um, so subcompacts shouldn't be forgotten, right? Everyone's like, well, I just carry my compact and my big old thing with the threaded barrel because it looks cool, but I never carry it. And then I carry a micro. And if you're not shoot, uh, shooting a micro this well, maybe it's time to give a subcompacts chance again. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Dan the Wolfman here. Please thumbs up, share, subscribe. Have you even seen a PPQ SC before? Uh, what do you think? Have you fired the F? Should I try and get a hold? I would like to fire the PDPF and see what that's like. Um, and so these are still good choices for women that have good trigger discipline that aren't going to NDN a fully cock striker. That's another thing too. These are fully cock strikers. Feel a little more comfortable even with the long trigger travel in the three o'clock position than reholstering appendix. So that's something to consider as well. Uh, but guys, I like my vaulters and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks everybody. And hopefully you'll like this series of Forgotten Pistols. Kaboom.